I'm Jim Callahan, and I'm bringing you your daily doses of news. I reckon we get right into the swing of things. We have an actual studio now. You guys were insane enough to ask for another show, and we got a bigger budget this time, so thank you for that. <sighs> now, this month was truly a great month for women all across the United States. Their breasts are being appreciated. They can splurge on candy if they so wish instead of being drowned in diet magazines. But more importantly, Brett Kavanaugh is a Supreme Court Justice. He sends a beautiful message to women all across the planet. For years, politicians have complained about women's emotions getting in the way of their decision making. But Kavanaugh proved that you can complain and moan and still be in a position of power. Truly, an inspiration to women all over the United States. Halloween is right around the corner, and so are little devils coming to your door asking for candy and expecting you to ask him nothing in return. During this time, I try to stay healthy, but staying healthy nowadays is such a pain. In general, adults should get about five hours a week of moderate exercise, or two and a half hours or more of intense activity, or some combination of the two. Which is 18 to 64, regular sleep, seven to nine hours is recommended. Seven to nine. Wow. Consistent and regular sleep health patterns are important, where you're going to bed and waking up at the same time, where you have a cool, quiet, dark room, putting your devices away, you're not drinking caffeine or alcohol right before bed, and you're exercising. We're expected to get seven to nine hours of sleep a night, drink eight to 10 glasses of water a day, eat eight servings of fruit and vegetables, go to a gym and climb a set of stairs going to nowhere or run in circles for an hour, while also keeping a healthy state of mind, meditating for 30 minutes, also finding satisfaction in our work which makes it hard to spend time with family and friends, and I can't text them because screens and video games are bad for our eyes, and after all that it's nighttime, but I haven't got enough protein and vitamins and antioxidants, so I try to make a smoothie, but I can't because it's bad to eat after 9 o'clock, and I try to sleep, but I can't because stupid little kids keep knocking on my door asking for candy I can't have. I just, I just get so stressed from all of this. But I'm getting fit, right? I'm staying healthy. These are the same people who gave us a food pyramid a few years ago that if we follow, we ended up looking like it. But they got it right this time, right? These are experts. They're all saying the same thing. So what if I'm stressed? I'm doing what they say, so I'm healthy, right? You may be more stressed than you want to be, and it really has bad repercussions on your health. It's linked to all six leading causes of death. Well, since being healthy is killing us, maybe this fad in the Silicon Valley is the only alternative to a healthy lifestyle left. For more on this, we turn our man on the boardwalk, a senior surfer correspondent, Chad Channing. I'm all about catching those raw waves in the ocean, man. But to rehydrate, I needed something totally rad to restore my electrolytes. Raw water trend. Something called raw water. Raw water. Raw water. Techies in San Francisco are guzzling it by the gallon full. And stores that sell raw water are running out. So raw water is unsterilized, pristine spring water. This is what I was looking for. Raw water. So I embarked on a journey into the wild to get some from the source. Guys, it's me, Chad here. We're out here in the wild. Gonna try to find some raw water. Let's get right to it. What's going on, guys? It's Chad. We're out here in mountain lion infested wilderness looking for some raw water. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. We must be getting close. One of my like resources said that raw water comes from places like that, so we must be getting closer to the source. If we keep following, keep following this pipe, I think, I think we might find some and finally restore our electrolytes. There it is, raw water. I think that's it. Nah, that can't be. It's supposed to be. Really clear, pure water, just straight from the source water. So, I copy it. That's too, that's too algae, it's too much mold. Hold on guys, I think this is it. I think we finally found raw water. That has to be it down there. Some raw water from the creek. Gonna drink this up. <coughs> that stuff tasted like crap. 
This is bad, guys. I've been walking in the wilderness for 10 minutes, and there's no way of contacting home because my phone is now being used as my camera because my camera died, so I can't, can't call anybody. I think, <coughs> I think the raw water's killing me. Five minutes after drinking the raw water, I can feel my legs starting to give out from the exhaustion of hiking. I think I can feel something crawling in my stomach and going into my digestive system. That's what it's called, right? Status update. Eight minutes after drinking the raw water. Must be really raw. I have begun hallucinating and I've developed an Australian accent. I see squares making circles in front of me. That's not in front of me, that's still behind me. 10 minutes after drinking raw water, still no sign of civilization. In my quest to replenish my electrolytes, I think I've depleted hundreds of thousands more. One last time, this has been Chad Channing. I'll see you all later. Thanks, Chad. We're going to roll right along here. If you recall from our last show, we had a four-man political panel. Well, we've changed that to dumb debates with Dave and Dick. Today's topic, waffles or pancakes? Gentlemen, take the floor. Waffle. Pancake. Waffle. Pancake. Waffles. Delicious, crunchy waffles are what I had for breakfast the other day. It was a joyous morning. Then you must be a masochist if you enjoy getting your gums tied by those crunchy devil shards, Dave. First it's your gums, then you go to a dentist, find out you need a root canal, there's no good Medicare anymore, so you're flat broke, and the next thing you know, you're in a cult praying to a god that doesn't exist. When you eat pancakes, the soft, silky texture of the cake lets it flow from your mouth to your stomach smoothly. And you just made me vomit in my own mouth. I don't find pleasure in the same sensation one would feel covering a banana slug with butter and syrup and swallowing it whole. And speaking of butter, the waffle is just architecturally superior. Unlike the pancake, it has holes made to hold the butter and syrup in place, evenly distributing it throughout. And that hole you're talking about is the same one you're going to go down when you go to hell. And besides, it's a pocket, not a hole, you imbecile. Oh, so you seem to know more about waffles than I do. So have you been lying about liking pancakes then? <laughs> oh, please, Dave. I'm just smarter than you. While well, you went to some stupid community college, I graduated from Harvard. And look where we are. We have practically the same job. Well, if waffles are so special, then how come it is I hop and not I how? The same reason you were born, people make mistakes. And besides, who cares about IHOP when Will Smith says waffles are delicious? And Will Smith is close friends with Sam Jackson, who in Pulp Fiction didn't order the pancakes, which means he doesn't like them. And God saved him in that film. And John Travolta's character, who ate pancakes, died, which means God likes waffles. <laughs> no, 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 you can't pull that on me. Dick, are you defying God? There is no God. No God! No God? Then how are we here? The Big Bang. And the Big Bang was formed from very hot molecules. And how do they get there? I, I don't know. You don't know, which means you can't disprove God's existence, which means his word is final. And he didn't say Travolta in Pulp Fiction, so therefore God likes waffles. And if you recall from earlier in this sentence, his word is final, which means I win. <laughs> what? No, 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 no. Right, okay. <laughs> Guys, can we wrap this up already? Why can't someone like both waffles and pancakes? What, are you insane? One cannot simply like both waffles and pancakes. You have to pick one or the other, you indecisive pansy. Well, I like French toast, personally. <laughs> French toast is terrible, Jim. I mean, you're taking the worst from both sides. Exactly. The soft and mushy bread just turns into slop when you put syrup and butter on it. And the crunchy crust digs into your gums. And when was the last time the French made a good pastry? I mean, they banned their own croissant, for Christ's sake. I guess, I guess we can find common ground after all. I guess we can. All right, that's enough of you two off the stage. <laughs> to end this glorious show, the real optimist here, we have Chuck Berry, our weatherman. Chuck. Hey, Jim. It's getting hotter in the north, south, east, and west, and I am very, very scared. However, I try to keep an open mind. It isn't really that bad. Sure, the Great Pacific Garbage Patch is bad for the environment, 
but it helps solve the land problem, and I reckon real estate there will be big in the next decade. Scientists say one third of our fresh water will be gone by 2040, but if I've learned anything from watching Bear Grylls, is that if you boil any type of water, it turns into fresh water, so we can boil the ocean water and drink it. Besides, the storms that will be ravaging the planet will bring plenty of rain to drink and wind to turn into electricity. And the destroyed houses just means more jobs to rebuild those houses. Wait a minute, I thought we had a bright future ahead of us. Oh Jim, there is no future. Chuck Berry everybody! Well that's our show, and here's this to send you off.